I'm Bleeding Critic. Here's the review for Escape Room. When it comes to movies about disturbing puzzles, the original Saw comes to mind. And when it comes to wicked games, one of the best is David Fincher's movie, The Game. Then you have the unique puzzle movie, Cube. And when it comes to the extreme voyeuristic sport, you can't beat the hostile movies. Escape Room is gentle horror, but what gives it that bleeding edge is its energetic pace and brilliant tension. Director Adam Robitel builds up this ride so well. I like the way each of the characters are introduced and how they come together in the escape room itself. The room ideas are over the top, but because it's executed so well, I went along with it. In the hands of another director, I would have switched off, like I did with the other movie of the same name. So make sure you only watch this one, directed by Adam Robitel. One of my favourite moments is when the first puzzle starts, and it's all hands on deck for everyone to figure out what needs to be done. I prefer horror to be believable. I hate thinking, that would never happen. And there's plenty on screen where of course such over the top designs could not be built with such detail and scale. However, Escape Room filled my skull with real horror, which actually made this film an interesting and disturbing experience. Family TV entertainment is bland, predictable and unthreatening. Those talent shows where people are ridiculed in front of a live audience, watched by millions at home, is the same as when people viewed freaks in a circus. Audiences love watching someone else's misfortune, and one day in the future game shows might be just like this film. A new breed of entertainment where we watch individuals desperate, terrified and confused. So although Escape Room is thoroughly entertaining, it made me think that the worst idea for a TV Saturday night family entertainment show is probably just around the corner.